Hi, I'm John Drury. I help professional business leaders achieve what's important without losing what's essential. Now, so many of us are very busy with all the things we have to do every day that we know we don't give consistent quality time to the important things in our world. Things, things we'd like to be doing, like time with our partner and our children, time to look after our health and fitness, or our wider relationships with family, or it's just time to relax and be, wealth creation plans or personal growth plans. There's so many things we could be and maybe should be doing to build a successful life. And it's a juggle to, to get those things into our world. And yet there's a whole other level of things. The thing, I call them essential things that we are often totally neglecting. What do I mean by that? Well, things like how we're connected to purpose. That's what gives meaning to our life, knowing that all the busyness of our work is actually connected to something purposeful that gives us meaning. Our core values are one of the essential things. And many people I work with have values, but they can't articulate them because they've never thought them through. And they often compromise their values and aren't realizing why they're feeling churned up on the inside because they haven't thought them through and it's not clear in their head. Or maybe becoming, just becoming secure in who you are, in, in your own identity, doing some work on, on that. Gaining and, and maintaining a healthy perspective in life. But knowing where you want to be in life and having done some work to think about that and plan that. And then getting a perspective on where you're at now and how you're tracking and keeping in that. It's, it's a challenge to keep doing that. It's essential if you're going to live a fulfilled life. And then just that overall confidence and contentment and fulfillment that we all want in our lives, to have a happy life. So many people get to their 40s usually, sometimes 50s, and they're busy, successful, got a lot of things, had a lot of wins, done a lot of stuff in their world, but on the inside, not feeling real healthy or real happy and contented about their life. See, all these things I call the essential things, they're essential to be a healthy human being. The challenge is that so many of us are, are just busy humans doing stuff, that we are neglecting things that enable us to be a healthy human being. So how do you do something about this? What do you need to do? Well, sometime in your 40s, usually that's when it comes up, it's time to do some work on yourself. It's not just about success in business anymore. It's not just about chasing the game. It's a time to, to relook at yourself. Maybe identity forming uh, discussions and work was done in your teens and your 20s. And you've worked hard, lots of responsibility, lots of changes happen in your life and your world. And uh, you get to your 40s or 50s and you've not done any of that kind of work. It's time to do it again. Time to, to hit pause a little bit and take some time out to look, up, look at you. And first thing you've got to do is admit there's, there's more to life. There's a bigger picture. And secondly, I don't think you can do it on your own. This is where someone who's a successful mentor, who knows how to ask the right questions, who's maybe been through some of these things. I went through a whole midlife crisis because I lost my way in my 40s. And it was not pleasant. It led to all kinds of havoc in my world because I didn't attend to these essential things. I, I understand the issues here. And I know how to help people because I had to help myself through this and get some help. And, uh, and now I, I work on this all the time with, with professional business leaders and business owners. So health, how healthy are you on the inside? And have you considered what I'm calling the essential things? If you'd like to start a conversation, please direct message me. When you see this on LinkedIn or on Facebook, direct message me and I'll help start a conversation, let you know how to, how to make that happen. So we, we can start a conversation to help you work on your world and help you come back to a place of real good health in your life. If you want to finish well in your life and do the second half of life really well, it's important to attend to these things. Thanks for listening.